Hello everyone. So in this short video, I would like to tell you what is an AWS ENI and what is the use of it and uh, why we use ENI. Each and every instance in AWS EC2 typically have a public IP and private IP. Sometimes you don't even have public IP. So by default, each and every instance will have one private IP address, which we use it to connect to the instance when you are in the internet. And uh, why we are talking about this? Let's talk about it, okay? So first let's start with ENI. ENI stands for a network interface, an elastic network interface. So this is the network interface which will be bound with your public IP and private public IP and the private IP addresses. Sometimes uh, there are chances that you would need uh, for the network load balancing and network load sharing, you end up giving two IP addresses to an instance. So how to give more than one IP address or more than one private IP address to an EC2 instance? And for example, you are having an IP address, public IP, private IP address named x .y z.1 and you decided to move that public private ip addresses to another instance how can you do that in which situation you do that so let's see that so as per amazon amazon is telling that eni stands for elastic network interface so this is a network interface which is a logical networking component which falls under the vpc category so typically in if you consider a physical computer you call it as a network card which gives you in in assigning a public or a private ip to the network card so so on a whole we can consider elastic network interface as a network card okay this helps you in tagging your public ip and private ip to your machine so i'm right now let me switch to my console i'm in ireland location so inside the ireland i have two servers app one and app two app two is having a private ip address as 44.311 and app b is having another ip address as 42.167 both of them are in the two different both of them are in the same uh, network so both of them are in the same network you see you can see that both of them are in the same zone all right now what i would like to do is i would like to create a network interface and then i would like to add okay that network interface is going to give me one private ip addresses often in interviews people will ask you uh, when you are launching an ec2 instance you end up getting a private ip address so where you don't have any control of it for example if you are in a network of 172.31.0.0/24 you get to get any IP address in the range of 0 to 255. If you want to have a better control, if you want any network, uh, any IP address of your choice, so that's where the elastic network interface comes up into picture. So you should be in the EC2. In the EC2, you have something called as network and security. You go to the network interface. Also, the scope of the network interface is zone, which means if you create a uh, IP address in West 1B, you can attach that IP address to only the machines that are in West 1B. So ensure you create it in the West 1B. All right, so go to the network interface. Okay, right now I have two network interfaces because I have created two interfaces. Both of them have respect to IP addresses. Now I'd like to create a network interface. So lab 1A. So I'm just giving um, secondary private IP. Okay, so I would like to say that I'm inside the West 1B. My network is in West 1B. Maybe I can also reconfirm it one more time. So, and also you can mention whether you want to give a specific IP address of your choice or you want to let Amazon decide and give it. If you want anything of your choice, you can mention 172.31.0.0. Okay, for example, if you want to give 44.112, 44.112, yes, you can give it. If not, you can say Amazon to auto assign it. Also, uh, you can also tell to give one more public IP to your machine. So if you enable elastic fiber adapter, you can, you would get an option to enable public IP, but I'm not interested in giving the public IP, only private IP I would like to deal. So that's all. So you would get a network interface now. Select at least one security group. I would like to go with the default security group done now you have the network interface and it should come to the status available so you can use you can move a network interface between the two or three instances within the same zone unless until it is in the available state you cannot use it okay so if it is in use that means it is already been used by some server or some other uh, computing device if you want to use it you need to, the status of the networking interface should be in the available state now i would like to attach it to one of my instance for example i would like to attach it to my app one app one server which is in the EU West 1B. So right now, if you can see that it has only one IP address. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to attach one more IP address. So what I can do is I can come here. I can say that I would like to attach it. Okay, come here, attach a network interface. So I'd like to choose an interface of app one, attach it. That's all. 
your network interface is attached so now if you refresh you can see two private ip addresses on your app one server okay this is how you can attach one or more private ip addresses to your ec2 instance so that use case for it is whenever you want to share load for example you have two customers uh, which are in the same network using to have two applications which are using the same server so you want uh, application a wants to use 44.311 and application b wants to use 45.213 so you can give them two different ip addresses so so that their load will be diversified between the two interfaces okay that's one of the use case and uh, for example you you lost this machine because of some reason you lost this machine okay so you lost this machine now what you want to do is you want to move the associated private ip address okay so now customer b or the application a wants to talk to the application 2 application 2 also does the same job now what you want is you want to move this public ip private ip addresses to another server how can you do that so it's very simple you need to go to the same network interface and inside that so it's still in the use for first you need to detach it you cannot attach one network interface card for more than one server it's just like if you have a network card if you attach it to your computer you cannot attach it to one more computer unless until you detach it and attach it right same like that you need to detach it so once it comes to the available state it says that failed to detach the network interface so okay all right so it looks like it is still shutting down still it is shutting down yes shutdown is completed refresh it i just try to secondary private ip this is the one let's try to detach it done okay now if you come here and see the app one it won't be having two ip addresses refresh it it only has one ip address okay now what i want to do is i want to take that ip address and i want to give it to the app two. okay so the ip address i want to take it and i would like to give it to app two so 45.213 is the ip address of it and the status of it is in the available state Go ahead and attach choose an instance app to that's all now you can see that it is attached now if you come here and if you refresh you can see that app 2 is having two ip addresses this is how you can attach one or more ip addresses private ip addresses to your ec2 instance and whenever a server fails if you want to move the associated network interface card or the private ip address to any other instance this is how you can do this is very handy this information is one of the most underrated feature yet it is highly used okay thanks thanks for watching i'll see you in the next session